and a scheduling hearing failed to yield any movement in the state's case against the man who shot and killed 23 people at the Cielo Vista Walmart yesterday afternoon. The proceeding was supposed to be a simple scheduling hearing. Mm -hmm. Instead, it's now led to further delays in setting a trial date. KTSM 9 News reporter Tirza Ortiz has more for us on that hearing and the outrage it's causing for families. The victims are not going to let this slide. OK, we have been told be quiet, stay quiet. All right, fine. For five years, nothing has happened. For the first time in five years, the federally convicted Walmart shooter Patrick Crucius was back in district court for a scheduling conference. Family members of victims voicing their frustrations after the contentious hearing resulted in no pretrial motions being set, but instead a status hearing to address allegations from the defense against the state claiming misconduct and paper sabotage. Why are we going through all of this effort when this has been such a colossal disaster where every administration has tried to use the victims as political pawns for political advantage? The only reason they keep getting up and saying we need the death penalty because they think it's politically advantageous. We believe that is wrong. No, listen, their accusations are, are not based in the law. We're, we're fine. Uh, the, I'm very comfortable. Uh, we've already looked at their motions. Uh, we're very comfortable that, that we're in very good, solid position on, based on the law. A major point of argument was over prosecutors obtaining confidential recorded phone conversations between Crucius and his attorneys. Three and a half hours worth something District Attorney Bill Hicks denies. No one involved in Walmart listened to those calls. And we destroyed those calls, we turned them over to the defense and then we destroyed those calls. So there's no um, contamination or no, no issue with those four calls. Lead defense attorney Joe Spencer upholding that the DA's office is wrong. Uh, when they're talking about four, they're only aware of four, they've turned over 15 to us. So they don't even know what's in their own discovery. Christopher Morales lost his aunt in the shooting and had two other family members seriously wounded. He says he's tired of seeing the case be made a spectacle and wants justice. Don't forget, this is about the victims and their families. They're making a total circus about the case and they should not be doing that. We should not allow that. 